pick, pick a favorite. I mean, I, I we sort of appreciate everyone for different reasons. I mean, uh, Cindy Crawford is just an icon, and she's someone that I think we haven't really seen acting in a long time. And she came on our show, and she was a really good actress. And mm -hmm. she says that she doesn't want to act, but she did great. I mean, and then Chelsea Handler, who is a comedian, uh, came on to our comedy. It's just very validating. And then, of course, yeah. Martin... He just doesn't do anything. Yeah, so He's that was like, very cool. And Kate Upton was so awesome. She was so funny. We got to know her, and we've become friends with her since being on the show. And we just got so – we've gotten really lucky. Kate Hudson and Jessica Alba came back because they did first season. So that's, they're amazing. So they obviously didn't have too bad of a time first season to come yeah. back. So, yeah, everyone for different reasons. The show's never making fun of a specific show, and it's never making fun of a specific person. It's really just pulled from, like, the – like the whole bubble that we are all witnessing happening in reality TV and then social media. So we haven't come across anyone who's offended by it or um, someone who thinks that we're making fun of them. Like the show, we never set out to make a mean-spirited show. We are always the butt of the joke and that's intentional. So um, that makes it easier for celebrities or reality stars to embrace our show and think it's funny, and like everyone's in on the joke. Everyone but I also think reality is. stars got, you know, they got, they have such a bad rap for, you know, being so desperate to be famous, but it's now trickled down to, to actresses and musicians and people that are actually really talented. You see them setting up these fake paparazzi shoots and, and, and you're like, oh my God, you don't need to do that. Right. You're actually talented. And posting you, an Instagram that's clearly like an ad and they're getting paid money to do it. So everyone's sort of playing into it and we just wanted to make fun of it. I mean, there's no advice that can be received from someone who's been on reality TV. You can just sort of watch it and, and sort of steal from some of the devices to make fun of. Um, but no. I think don't. some reality TV stars have, who I've seen have been like, don't, don't make fun of me you know, specifically. I'm like, no, no, we're not making fun of anyone specifically. It's or I more... guess sometimes people can say like, oh, there's this funny thing that producers do when they want you to talk about going on a trip together, but you can't acknowledge that the show is sending you on the trip. So, you know, you watch like The Housewives or something and they're going like, oh, well, I'm going to be in Italy on the 14th. You should come. I'm going to be in Italy on the 14th. That's so weird. Oh, my God, you're going to be in Italy? Like, their show is sending you guys to Italy. But no one wants to say that out loud because you can never acknowledge the show. That's sort of like a housewives rule. Um, so we like watch things like that and tried to incorporate those little like insider tips. I mean, it's every challenge you think would happen working with family. You know, we know how to push each other's buttons. And in a sibling relationship, there's no hierarchy. Like you're, there, it's it's even. But then you get on a set and you learn that you have different skill sets. And so one person has to take control in one area, and another person has to take control there. And that doesn't always go well. Um, and so we definitely fight. We fought more season one than we do season two because we learned that it's not professional to fight on a set in front of 50 people. Well, that's the other thing is in a working environment, not everybody gets along. Not, I mean, we, not everybody uh, approaches a situation the same way. And with siblings, there's no filter. I mean, yeah. I'm very quick to call her out in a situation I would never call out just some regular co-star or, yeah. you know, and vice versa. I think it like fulfills this voyeuristic need that we have that um, when you know you used to just like use binoculars to look in someone's window and now you just turn on your TV and feel like you're watching people's lives. But I in also think it makes you kind of feel better about yourself. I mean, you watch yeah. these realities and they're all they're all train wrecks. They're all messes. I mean, none the of them really get... has their life. Yeah, I think it's, it makes you feel better about yourself. I think if you walk by a couple who are, like, having an argument, you have this need to, like, slow down and hear what the argument is about and go, like, God, I know I've been there. I know that, that fight right now. I think that's what we do when we turn on our TV and you, you think you're watching someone's private life. And I don't think it's healthy. Um.